Um, so we're, we're um, aiming to raise £60,000 for the Seabin Project, um, which are an organisation based in Australia. And they um, have actually just launched their new Seabin, which is a very cool data monitoring unit, which um, is sort of uh, has I, Internet of Things sensors um, that is then connected to the cloud and produces really amazing data on the type of plastic that's being captured by the Seabin. So we're aiming to raise £60,000 for their foundation, which um, will uh, go towards uh, different education projects. So we've been working uh, with the Seaman Project and my role has really been to help um, coordinate our fundraising campaign with the Seaman Project and the work they're doing. Um, and then in terms of being on board the boat, we're trying to do everything um, as perfect as possible. I guess the thing that's important for us to get across is that we have every decision we made on the boat, we have sort of carefully considered in terms of the food and the packaging that it's coming in, in terms of the cleaning products we're using, making sure that they're all marine safe, um, making sure that wherever possible, we try and minimize the environmental impact of the, of the different things that we're opting to get on, on board the boat. But by no means are we perfect, um, but I think we're, we're trying our best and, and uh, I think that's the important message we want to get across to a lot of other people, it's not about being 100% perfect um, living, you know, a zero waste lifestyle 100% of the time. It's much better to have everyone doing it imperfectly, but at least making some changes um, rather than just one person managing to, to get it right all the time. There's a lot of misinformation out there and, and that's something we, we completely fell um, victim to and that we, we um, had ordered some wet wipes that said that they were biodegradable um, and eco and we were like brilliant that's great that's exactly what we need and then actually we then did some more research and realized that um, biodegradable doesn't mean marine safe and it doesn't mean they won't necessarily break down um, in in the water so we then had to kind of go back to the drawing board and then we were really excited when Bella um, got in touch with my Pura and was able to find a great solution for us in terms of the wet wipes that are fine to flush because I think that that's there's a lot of misinformation, not just in the wet wipe um, space, but also more broadly, there's a lot of products that will label themselves as um, eco or green or sustainable. And actually, when you delve into it a bit deeper, you find out that that's not the case. or so there's only very certain conditions where that is the case. And, and so I think that it's um, really important for people to, to do their homework. Um, but equally, we want to try and share what we've learned with as many people as possible so they can save um, making the same mistakes we've made.